Here we go. This is a 50 pound battery pack right now. It's made up of 48 individual uh, 20 amp hour EIG cells. Uh, and uh, it's enough batteries to, that we're going to have in one wing of a laser for one motor. What We're going to split this uh, pack into two 25 pound packs to make it easier to deal with in and out of the airplane. And, uh, and each 25 pound pack has to have some battery management system put on it called BMS for short. And the BMS I've developed um, to integrate with uh, my, the two computers I'm now going to have on the airplane, one for the left side and one for the right side, is, uh, is down here. It's actually um, monitoring this little uh, 12S model airplane pack right now. And uh, it uh, basically is uh, a uh, voltage monitoring device that monitors the voltages and puts uh, balancing resistors in and out of the circuit and uh, decides when this battery should be on the main, uh, connected to the main bus and, and connects it through MOSFETs. There's uh, 16 MOSFETs. Uh, not, this board is not fully populated right now, but there will be 16 MOSFETs across here, each one capable of 100 amps. Uh, this board is uh, then communicates with my main, main brain over here, which is a little uh, Pinguino board, and it's, uh, it's got a PIC32 processor on it, and uh, it's basically... Uh, the brains of the, the whole airplane. It monitors the, the cells and tells the cells whether they should uh, balance or not and, and whether the whole battery should be on the battery bus. It also logs all the information on the little SD card you see there and receives other information from, from things like this little GPS module over here to give us uh, the ability to, to put on uh, display airspeeds, altitudes, and headings. Uh, on the display, and the display is over here. It's a little four line by 20 character display, uh, and there'll be one for each brain. So there'll be one for left side and one for light, right side on an instrument panel. Uh, the the uh, whole system is turned on and off with a, just like your car with a key. And this motor will be turned on. Uh, you can turn on the ignition, and then nothing happens. You can see the display nothing's happening and then when you go to the start the engine position the display comes on finds a battery and then you can leave go of the uh, of the key and it's now powered for a uh, for the duration of as long as the key is on or it times out you can leave the key on and it won't uh, won't hurt things uh, sorry about the focus problems here I'm not gonna redo this just for some po focus problems Anyway, the the uh, the has a timer that it will time out if you leave the key on and not draw any current. Right now, there's uh, the whole system is drawing um, 43 milliamps from that battery pack, um, and and when the key is totally off, it draws the uh, the whole circuit board system only draws 33 microamps. Um, now to turn turn off the the airplane, you just turn it off like your car. You turn it back on again, let's just turn on the ignition and then start. And here it comes. Battery's up. And she can leave go. And now I'll talk about the display. Here's the display over here. Let's see if I can refocus it. Okay, so there we got. Now I'll see if I can get steady too. 2478 RPM on the top left. That's fake, obviously. No, no motor running. Uh, motor temperature 143 degrees, that's also fake, but the timer is real on the right, 22 seconds since we turned it on. Uh, second line, 37 miles an hour, that's uh, that's fake right now, but it will be real. And 1,578 feet above sea level and 205 de 285 degree course line. And then we come to the real numbers right now, that's the amps. Uh, that's coming, uh, that'll be going to the motor, and then this the bottom line is uh, the battery is being monitored at 86 degrees, 
The lowest cell in the whole battery pack is 3.74 volts with a delta V of uh, 8 millivolts between all the cells in the bus. And then the 67%, that's, that'll tell you how much battery you've got uh, remaining, uh, energy remaining for the flight. Uh, we do have other display, other screens. Here's the, I'll go right to the busy battery screen, but you won't really need to use this, but it does show you all the individual cells in the top left. There's 12, top left corner, basically there's three rows of four voltages. That's, uh, that's the voltages of the cells in this battery we're monitoring. The little flashing arrow is telling you which are the lowest cells. Uh, top right, we see a high voltage of three, uh, 3.75 volts in this pack and a low of 3.741 volts with a delta of 9 millivolts. Uh, on the bottom, there's a 2 degrees temperature sensor, which is not installed right yet, right now, but there is a second sensor inside the processor is 87 degrees. And again, with zero amps is coming out of this, and this is battery one. And there'll be a page like that for each battery that the uh, that's uh, that's on the on this side of the airplane. Um, right now, I plan on two, but uh, you actually can have up to 16 battery packs uh, that this will monitor. Um, so that's the that's the system right now. This uh, the key and the the key and the uh, uh, brain and the GPS and everything. All that will go in this little uh, project box into the goes into the wing and and actually your key will be inserted uh, into the wing and you just turn it like a car there and one for each side. Again, here's the uh, last shot of the. BMS board that I've made. The end.